Welcome back everybody to the Hing Gamer Channel with Murder on the Orient Express. Right then, I am thinking this time let's interview the, uh, I think she's a lady's maid and princess. So here we go, let's find Mademoiselle Schmidt again. I believe she was in her compartment when I went to get De Mary Debenham's passport, so I believe she's in here. Open the door. Click. There she is. First things first. A suitcase. No, I'll talk to first. Hello, Fraulein. Crown. You are Hildegard Schmidt, aged 43, living in St. Petersburg. Well, I attend Madame La Princesse now. She's a maid. So she's a lady's maid. What can you tell me of your movements last night after dinner? I live very little. I read to the Princess Bleak House by the English writer Charles de Camps. The sudden stopping of the train interrupted us. Madame la Princesse luckily was not hard. I returned to reading. I do not read aloud very well. But Her Excellency says that it is all the better. So it sends her better to shrink. <laughs> when she became sleepy, she told me to go. I returned to the compartment I shared with Fraulein Devonham. She returned her. What time was that? It was very late. Half past one or, or more. Tell me about Mary Debenham. She is a very agreeable young lady. She was already asleep when I came in after reading for Her Excellency. What color is Mademoiselle Debenham's dressing gown? It is a pale purple, mauve, I believe, the English way. Mm -hmm. Did Mademoiselle Debenham leave the room at all last night? Not after I returned. I sleep lightly, Fraulein. You understand? Should her excellency require me? I would like to fingerprint you. If you must. Okay. Have you ever been to America? No, never. I should like to go somewhere. Do you know who this man Ratchet really was? He was not Ratchet. His name was Cassetti. He was responsible for the death of Swift a reaction. Daisy Armstrong. My God, I have heard of that. The kidnapping. It was wicked. Wicked. We are not so wicked as that in Germany. <laughs> At this time, I wouldn't be sure if you could say that, Miss Schmidt, because uh, what well, is this? Nineteen thirty-six. Um, there's a certain. Uh, Dictator on the rise. Uh, okay, uh, moving on, moving on. Is this your handkerchief, Frau Schmidt? No, it is not mine. The one the H. It has the letter H, you see. Ah, but it is a lady's handkerchief, that. A very expensive cambric handkerchief, embroidered by hand. It comes from Paris, I should say. Did you see anyone as you returned That's a bit fishy. Only an attendant. He was sitting at the end of the corridor. No, Fraulein. He came out of one of the compartments in the middle. Two or three doors from Madame La Princesse. Ratchets! The attendant was Michel, our regular attendant. No, Fraulein. <gasps> what? What did he look like? Small, dark. He had a little a mustache. His voice when he said... Small, dark, and with a womanish voice. That's what Ratchet described as the person who was threatening him to, to the detective, uh, Cyrus Hardman. And Hubbard saw him? Was it Mrs. Hubbard's compartment? It may have been. But I saw him come out. You weren't in the corridor. I most certainly was. He nearly ran into me, apologized, and hurried off in the direction of the salon car. A bell began ringing, but I do not think he answered it. 
When the bell started ringing? Yes, while I'm... Au revoir, mademoiselle. Interesting. Schmidt and suitcase. Quite interesting. What is it? Bear in mind, I don't think I've looked at some of the stuff. How much the pipe thing is? They're identical. This is a small latch box. A box full of recipes. Why would a lady's maid have a box full of recipes? I can tell you I've got plans, Fraulein, but I have told you all I know. Hmm. Two or three doors from Madame the Princess. Princess dragged me off in that one. So she either came out of Hubbard's or she came out of no, he came out of Hubbard's or he came out of Ratchet. She might have seen the kid, she might have seen the murderer. Look at this in the time. Ratchet's bell. Sinirian, do you want to see Tompe? And a minute later, Schmidt sees an attendant who is not Michelle. That is fishy. Something is going on there. I'm not sure if the timing's off or what, but that is interesting. So let's go to the princess. Take um, like a passport. Princess Natalia Dragomirov, Russia. Hold on. Her age is not listed. Wow. Currently lives in Paris. And what's this? Shit. This gun. The bracelet is worthless, Mademoiselle. It is copper only. I bought it outside the train station in Istanbul. For my apartment. Take it if you like. I am very sorry, Your Highness. I realize how this must look, but I am only doing the job assigned me. I promise I'll return it to you, if I can. Okay. Ah, then I expect you would like to interrogate me. I believe that is the correct thing. If I may. But of course. I am suspect, just as anyone in the ballet coach must be. I am ready for the third degree. I have found your passport, Your Highness. I noticed that as well. Natalia Dragomirov, 17 Avenue Claver. Paris, you were travelling home from Istanbul, madame? Right. Yes, I have been staying at the Austrian Embassy. My maid is with me, as you saw in the marketplace. Could you give me a brief account of your movements yeah. last evening? Hmm. Nothing could be simpler. After the Schmidt, my maid read to me. We were interrupted by the train stopping to avoid the avalanche. Then she read aloud to me some more and we caught it. Can you give me an idea of the time? If I were to guess, I would say it was half past one. Has your maid been with you long? Fifteen years. Do you consider her trustworthy? Absolutely. Her people come from an estate of my late husband in China. Forgive the personal nature of this question, right. madame, but what is the color of your dressing gown? My dressing gown. It is a blue satin. Satin? That's impressive. I love with just satin just now. Really good. I must take your fingerprints. Oh dear. Please, please. Have you something I may clean my hands with after? Of course I do. I have some paper napkins. Thank you, my Those should suit everything. At least you're kind about it. And like the wet cloth <laughs> earlier. <laughs> You have been in America, I presume, madame? Many times. Were you acquainted with a family by the name of Armstrong? You speak of friends of mine, madame. Oh. Sonia Armstrong was my godmother. I was on terms of friendship with her mother, Linda Arden, one of the greatest tragic actresses in the world. So she is. As Lady Macbeth, as Nora in a doll's house, there was no one to touch me. I was not only an admirer of her art, I was a person. 
So, this is another person who admits to having a direct connection to the Armstrong family. This seems to be a bit fishy, if I'm not, I'm not going to lie. But there seems to be a few people with connections to the Armstrong household. I can't shake off that this is all related. That's that case. <clears throat> is Linda Arden dead? No, no, she is alive. It is a sort of life. She lives in complete retirement. Her health is very well. She must lie on a sofa most of Damn. Time. Wouldn't mind that sort of existence. <laughs> Mrs. Armstrong had a sister, did she not? Yes, much younger. She had a younger life. sister. And she is alive? Certainly. Where is she? I must ask the reason of these questions. What have they to do with the murder on this train? Yeah. The dead man was responsible for the kidnapping and death of Mrs. Armstrong's child. Ah. In my view, then, this murder is an entirely admirable occurrence. You will pardon my slight desire to come to It is most natural, madame. Interesting. Where is the younger daughter of Linda Arden, the sister of Mrs. Armstrong? I lost touch with the younger generation. I believe she married an Englishman some years ago, but at the moment I cannot recollect the name. Mademoiselle, you will forgive me, but the one you see, he who guides the investigation, but no one has told me his name. He is Hercule Poirot, madam. Wow. Of course. I thought his face was somehow familiar to me. Wow. It's just... I wonder what you mean by that. That is fishy. Hmm. Suitcase time. This looks like a puzzle box. Oh no. Get it open. Puzzle box. Kill me now. Oh god. I can't seem to get the I don't think Oh Hello. There we go. That was a bit too easy for me. <laughs> I'll only keep this as long as I need it. I know the piece. And lock a lock it. What's in this locket? Dragon Mirror's locket. It has a picture of a young girl inside. She looks vaguely familiar. Is it Daisy Armstrong? Oof, if it is, then call blimey. That's interesting. Right then. So. Take a thumbnail. Let me take a thumbnail. Whoopsie. So I'll take one here. There we go. So, I think I'll leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.